Hello everyone, my name is Karen. Welcome to episode two of the Um What the hell is it called? Um I can't remember what it's called. Holy sh Why can't I remember? Oh <laughs> Welcome back to episode 2 of the WW2K19 career mode. Um, what are you going off about? I don't care. Uh, oh, there we go. I was like, what the hell? There, my player tree. My player kickstart. Grants you 20 free style points to spend on your my player and the my player tree. Your first 20 points will be spent free without cost. You can spend all 20 style points on the my player or spread them out over multiple my players. Additionally, all the prestigious locked areas of the my player tree will now be unlocked. My player tree. Spend style points on tree nodes to increase attributes and lock skills, abilities, and overcharge points. Reach higher prestige ranks to unlock more tree nodes and increase your my player stats even further. How can Pointer with the left thumbstick, right pointer to lock, and then scroll a tree and L2 or R2 to speed up the pointer. Okay. So, I want to start with the body. Um, what's that? Uh, attribute agility plus two. Body cost one style point. Uh, yeah, let's, let's do this. Um, let's choose that. All right. This is not locked. Go to skills and abilities to equip it. Okay. Top rope diver. Oh, that's what I unlocked. Okay. Nice. I unlocked top rope diver just by doing that. Stamina recovery. Let's unlock that. That's leg durability. Okay. Damage recovery. Let's let's uh, boost my leg durability a bit. What's that? That's aerial range. Okay. That's stamina. We'll increase my stamina as well. Um. We want to get that up, which gave us what exactly? Springboard diver. Nice. Okay, so this gives us new. So this is really cool. I actually really like this. This is a really cool thing. I I really enjoy. Um, it's a very smart thing in my opinion that they they decide to do this. Um, yeah, let's get both of these just just because they they're probably something good to have in my opinion. Um, all right, that's that's a bit from that. That's nosebleed daredevil. Okay, that's some more body durability. Um. Attack. Aerial offense. Let's uh, upgrade that. So, this is definitely based off of... Right, let's put momentum up. This is definitely based off of what you choose as your starting thing. I really like that. Let's boost the reversals up. Waiting. I, I have to wait for it to load up. It takes a while. Strike speed. Let's upgrade that. I really like this. This is kind of a cooler way to do the uh, attribute system. I felt like... Oh, let's get pin escape. I felt like last year's was kind of a little bit meh. Uh, let's get grapple speed. I, I realize the first two episodes haven't been very entertaining. I'm sorry about that. Um, I, I did plan on doing some stuff last episode where it was going to be, you know, some cool shit. Uh, this is now unlocked. Go skills in it. Okay. Rope break. Sweet. Okay. Rope breaks unlocked. Um, I did plan on doing some cool shit, you know, last episode trying to get some... Uh, uh, let's get reversal offense up. Um, and then that is another thing that unlocks a new thingy. I, I think that's something cool. <coughs> I don't know what, but something. Suicide dive. Ooh. Oh, my God. And that's right. You ha I have all these already somehow. Those are all already here. That's cool. Um, yeah. Strength. Strength. Um, what is that? What is that? That is running offense. Okay, let's get running offense up. I am a cruiserweight after all. Um, for those of you wondering, am I IRL? Am I a cruiserweight? Yes, IRL, I would technically be a cruiserweight. Um, if you didn't watch last episode, I did say I'm around 160, 170-ish. Um, 165, 170-ish on uh, for weight. Um, so I would, in real life, be a cruiserweight. Um, stamina, let's get that up. That unlocks us uh, something new. I don't know what exactly. Nosebleed Daredevil. So what's that? 
Farm diving tax from the top of the chamber pod, steel cage, semi trailer, or cell. Oh, nice. I like that. Um, what exactly is that? That's mouthpiece level three. Um, let's get our stamina recovery. And then, uh, let's go for some leg power, I guess. Why not? So yeah, this is the new my player tree. I like this. And there's a substyle tree. This is the substyle tree. Every fighting style requires two unique substyles with exclusive style point upgrades, skills, and abilities. You can only choose one substyle to unlock. Substyles unlock when reaching level 10. Okay, so we have luchador or technician. I think I'm going to go for the luchador side of things because it looks like there's probably some more fun things on that, to be honest. Um, but we'll figure it out. And then there's an overcharge tree. Welcome to the overcharge tree. There are three overcharge trees is available that you can upgrade by earning overcharge points on the core and substyle my player trees unlock any overcharge by setting an overcharge point on the overcharge tree overcharges can be equipped on the boost and payback screen charge fury charge up your fist and connect with a devastating strike that causes major damage beast mode when activated grapple speed range and damage are increased and electrifying earn momentum at a faster rate while electrifying is active um i don't have any core points so um profile Edit profile. This is where you can set your banners and emblems. Unlock new banners and emblems by completing challenges, leveling up your my player, and purchasing loot packs. Okay. So there's a lot of cool shit in this. So there's banners. So there's really cool banners. I kind of actually like that idea. Um, I like is how there's like the Undisputed Era thing next to it. That's kind of cool. I really wish. Completing one tier of the Undisputed Era faction. Okay. I don't know what those mean, but okay. I'm very confused, but we'll see, I guess, later on. Survivor Series is starting My Player Towers. Okay. I My career. Take your My Player through story mode where you start as one of the top talents on the independent circuit and work your way into the WWE. Earn rewards and rank up your My Player, unlock new arenas and characters. Road to Glory, downloading latest Road to Glory data. Road to Glory. Play online against other My Players in different matches every day. You qualify for upcoming pay per view events and earn free weekly loot packs to advance your My Player. So there's a faction. There's faction challenges. Um, that's kind of fun. My player towers, towers overview. In towers, you can complete compete in a gauntlet of matches against WWE superstars. Each tower features a unique theme, match rules, win conditions, and stipulations. There are several tower goals to complete for each tower. Earn rewards by completing these goals. I should probably be going to bed soon. It's 12:17. I have to be up at 11 a.m. Gauntlet. In a gauntlet tower, you need to complete. In one, in one such quitting early or losing a match, resets your progress back to zero. Steps. In a steps tower, each match can be conquered one at a time as your progress is saved along the way. There's no penalty for leaving the tower and resuming progress later. <clears throat> daily, weekly, pay-per-view, and persistent. In my player towers, there are unique time-based towers. There's a new daily that cycles every 24 hours. And there's a new weekly tower that changes every seven days. There's also a pay-per-view tower that runs alongside the Road to Glory pay-per-view event. Complete this tower for cool rewards. If you're playing already completed towers, we'll earn only a portion of the stars towards pay-per-view event access. And my stats. Use my stats to view your XP level and XP rewards. You can also view your progress on challenges and my player side plates. Okay. We're going to go to my career and start... Chapter 1, Van going to the big time. BCW is a fledgling, fledgling local indie promotion. It's promoter's connection to WWE, but is never amounted to much. Mr. CQ is BCW's high star. He's a speedy cruiserweight. He's strong fundamentals. Oh, hey, that's me. Hey, Cole, or Mr. CQ, I think it's Cole Quinn, actually. Hey, big BCW show this Friday night at the high school. Tell your friends. Don't need a flyer. I go to the show. Wait, is that you? Uh, what do you, what do you mean? Facing Mr. CQ in the main event. It's definitely you. Mr. CQ, Cole <laughs> Quinn. I guess I can see the resemblance, but that guy's a huge indie star. Why would he be out here flyering for a show? Hey, is this weirdo bothering you? He's one of the wrestlers. No, no, I'm not. Have fun at the show. Yo, I thought wrestlers had money. Why would he be driving around some crappy bug van? See? See? Good point. More proof that I am not who you think I am. Sure. You gotta check out this guy's highlights online. He's going to be a huge star in WWE someday. <laughs> Thanks. That's nice of you to say. <laughs> the wrestler. I'll, the, I'll, I'll the poster who's not. Definitely not definitely me. Not me. <laughs> I like the fact that it's Let's voiced. Go. That guy's a douche. Hope you beat Mr. CQ. I can't stand that guy. Or well, maybe I'll see you in the crowd Friday night. I mean, he's a fan. He's a fan. Uh, definitely not from the ring. Because I'm not a wrestler. 
Yeah, sure, dude. Sure. Here's the thing I love. When I saw a video of this, it was a dude with, like, flaming red hair and he was kind of big. I was like, how the fuck are you trying to pass off that that's not you, dude? A few days later. Oh, do I actually have to press next? Okay. A few days later. Dot, dot, dot. Ellipses. B, G, Z, be gone. Bugs be gone. Prob I'm probably driving around this crappy bug van because I don't have a lot of money because I'm an indie star. I'm not no Matt and Nick Jackson Bullet Club type peoples. He sleeps in the back of his van. Of course he fucking sleeps in the back of his van. Of course he sleeps in the back of his goddamn van! Um... If the van is a knocking, don't come a rocking. I guess. Oh, look at that sexy ass attire in the cutscene. I love it. She just walks up. I knew it was you. I look good. I I like how this character looks. He's very generic, which is what I like about mine. Who has strong females? Well, well known locally, he's yet to break through into the W. Make sure to talk to everyone when the choice presents itself. You might miss out on some important information or side matches. BCW is a fledging lo- oh, okay, that's- that's it? Okay, that sucks. There, I was hoping there was gonna be much more than that, but I guess not. Hey, looks Baron Douchebag- HEY! ALBERT! You are in this game! I was wondering if he's gonna be in this game, because he's not a wrestler. You don't have him as a character. Huh. That, he's not a superstar in the game, so I was wondering if he's actually gonna be in this. And it's cool to see that he's in this. Baron Blade and Matt Bloom. My career hub. My career hubs are points in the story where you are no longer in a match. Use L to cycle through people you can talk to or objects you can interact with. Press X to select the person or thing you want to interact with. Triangle will open up your phone menu where you can browse messages and upgrade your My Player. An icon on the top of corner will tell you that you have new voice messages or text messages. Go to your phone's menu by pressing triangle, select messages via your latest messages. So is there anything in my... Alright. Select the My Career settings will allow you to change settings that are specific to My Career. These settings do not apply to any other modes in the game. Okay, so let's go to message. Do I have any? Hey, it's your dad. Sorry I can't make it to your first match tonight. Work's been crazy lately. The cough. Message from July 12, 2014. Hey, it's your dad. Sorry I can't make it to your That's what my dad would do. He'd be like talking to me about this whole thing, and then at the end he'd be like, alright, don't forget this now, okay? Make sure you don't forget this. Don't forget the ice cream, don't forget the food, or whatever. Something along those lines. What was my dad for? Give me a minute, guys. I'm trying to fix my uh, curtain over my windows. Alright. Let's talk to Matt Bloom and Baron Blyde. Hey, I want you to meet Matt Bloom from NXT. Matt, this is my protege, Van Gogh. I'm a big fan, Mr. Bloom. I mean, I've studied all your matches from your run in WWE and Japan. Really great stuff. Thanks. You must be a true student of the game. I try to be. So why do they call you Van Gogh? Are you some kind of artist? Not quite. I gave him that name because everywhere he goes, his dad's old work van goes. He practically lives in that thing. Yeah, practically. So what brings you out to our show? I'm here to scout your opponent. Cole Quinn. Oh. Cole's great. You won't be disappointed. I'll have my eye on you as well. Wait, really? You're rustling Cole, so it'd be kind of hard not to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good point. Well, I should go get ready. It was nice meeting you, Mr. Bloom, and thanks for coming out to the show. So, Baron, ba Baron Blade the douchebag, the guy who was the fucking... How do I put this? The douchiest McDoucheface in the entire game last year is now running BCW. That's kind of cool. He's running his own promotion. Slow your roll, Greeny. Tonight's my big chance to get signed to NXT. So don't do anything to screw it up. Oh, you son of a bitch. I'm going to give it everything up tonight, and we'll see where we stand after that. All I know is I'll be standing in Orlando at the Performance Center. You can continue standing in high school gyms. 
Wilson. Oh, you fucking asshole. I should have badmouthed you. You fucking dick. Go to the match. Fuck you, Cole. Dick. I'm gonna kick your ass. He's only 69. It's not that much better than me. Make sure to talk to everyone with choice. Dab, 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 dab. So his his connections to WWE haven't amounted much because it's Baron Blade and well, <clears throat> I wouldn't want to talk to him either. If I'm being completely honest, especially with how he looked last year, horrible, horrible, really. It's just so terrible. He looks so douchey, and I want to punch him so much. There we go. No entrance music because I forgot to fucking start, uh, do it. I'll do that afterwards. I want to surprise you guys next episode with entrance music. Um, mostly because I just don't have a cho uh, an idea of what I want to do for my entrance yet. Wait, is the music actually on? I can't tell. Do we maybe just not have entrance music? No, no, there's definitely supposed to be entrance music. So, hold up. Hold up, one sec. I gotta, I gotta pause this for a second. Uh, options. Okay, we gotta make sure everything's on here. Um, on, yes. Uh, ringside camera cuts, nah. Target, players only, uh, gameplay settings, I can't change that yet, so that kind of sucks, I can't change that right now, um, I was hoping that when I turn music, a player must win by pinfall or submission, with Matt Bloom scouting both of you, is essentially that you get a clean win over Cole Quinn, you can do this by getting the pin or submitting Cole, okay, um, I'm kind of pissed that I don't have that, because I have music off, I didn't realize that uh oh come on why now uh i didn't realize that turning that off i don't even have if i go to like superstar info i don't even have that great of finishers so that kind of sucks but uh i didn't realize that it would turn the entrance music off too so i'm gonna have to i guess mess with that later on Oh damn. Your attention for a second. Whoever has a red pickup truck with the license plate OCS 732, you're blocking the school nurse's car. She'd like to go home now. Okay, carry. Lift and carry your opponent by holding R1 and pressing up, down, left, or right on the right thumbstick. You may also in interpret certain grapples into a carry by holding R1 as you perform the move. Use R during a carry to change positions. Carry your opponent around with L. Press and hold square as you approach an object to perform attack. Press X at any time to perform a grapple or finish the uninterrupted move. Before a running turnbuckle attack from the center of the ring, hold L2 square and a direction on the left thumbstick. Throw your opponent to ringside. Hold R1 and square while approaching the ropes. These attacks require a skill. If you're being carried, you can rapidly press blah blah blah. Oh, fuck me. I thought she wanted to go home. <laughs> Wait, do I have, uh, I just realized something. Controls, options, 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 gameplay settings. Wait, no. Match options? Uh, where's the reversal? Th this should be a reversal thing and I feel really stupid. Okay, I want to make sure. That's my finisher, too. These two are going to bring the house down tonight, which is something they literally done before when they once had a match in an old abandoned house. Shit, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do that. Oh, that was weird looking. These two have a long history together in BCW. If you want to check out any of their other matches, there's DVDs for sale at our merch table. All proceeds go to charity. Just kidding. They go to me. It's expensive to run these indie shows. Is that Baron Blade talking? 
Has it been him talking the entire time? I just now noticed. There's so much at stake in this match. Let's just say you never know who's watching at a BCW show. Shit, that was not what I meant to do. This works, I guess. Oof. Nice. These guys are hitting each other with everything but the cafeteria sink. Pin! It's the most exciting thing. To kick out of the pin, press X when the blue bar overlaps the red zone. The bright red section shows the bonus given by the pin escape attribute. A user with the resiliency payback ability can kick out of the pin by pressing L1 when prompted. When pinned near the rope, superstars with the rope break ability can escape by grabbing the rope when prompted. Press the appropriate button. Be careful as the referee may actually see the rope break. Mm, you son of a bitch, Alexia. Or Cole, I mean. Not Alexia. Oh my god, that was amazing. For our crowd taunt, press left on D-pad. Or our opponent taunt, press right to receive a buff. A crowd taunt buff will allow you to gain momentum more quickly, while an opponent taunt buff will increase the damage of your attacks. Perform a wake-up taunt up on the D-pad on down point to make them stand. Tonight's attendance is... Oh, never mind. Just enjoy the match, everyone. What a frog splash. Oh, yep, I'm out of stamina again. Oh my god, yeah, it's definitely Baron Blade talking then. We're both cruiserweights, but I can't pick him up somehow. Bitch. This is what BCW is all about. No fancy stage, no flashy pyro, no one running their mouth for way too long. Well, except for me. Other than that, it's all action, all the time, and these guys are two of the best. Mr. CQ is showing why he has attracted interest from promotions all around the world. Yeah, he's WWE. definitely showing interest. Because, yeah, he's definitely showing interest because he's getting his ass handed to him right now by the guy he just called Greeny a few minutes ago who's about to kick his ass. Come on, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it! Okay. Oh, replay. Oh, that's kind of a shit replay, though. Oh, there you go. That's a better one. Oh, beautiful. Dragging. I know how to drag game. Okay, shut up. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, this is really where we thought the the music. Continue. That was that was really good. I liked it. That was very enjoyable. Hey, maybe the the, the W or BCW's hottest star, but guys. Ass whooped by a dude he called Greeny. Said I'll be standing in Orlando in the performance center. Well, you'll be standing in high school gyms. Good match, Van Gogh. Yeah, great Thanks. job out there. It means a lot coming from Orlando, you. Orlando, here I come. I'm gonna get a condo on the beach. There's no beach in Orlando. Well, then I'll make sure to furnish my condo with wall-to-wall -wall sand. Before you start making big plans, we have a few things to discuss. Like what? My start date? Future opponents. 
Waist measurements for the NXT title? Not exactly. To be honest, I'm not a fan of your Mr. CQ character. You need to come up with something different. It's not really a character, but fine. I can come up with something different after I get to NXT. Full disclosure, I don't think you'll be heading to NXT. Not anytime soon, at least. You're just not ready. I was actually more impressed with your opponent over here. Wait, what? So I've decided to offer him an opportunity. <gasps> yeah, baby! He'll have a tryout match on an up-and-coming WWE event. Really? Yes. I've been doing this a while now, and I know talent. This is some I kind of it. joke. Because you were supposed to be here to scout me and not him. Plans change all the time in this business. That's a good lesson for you to learn. I have to go catch my flight. You and Baron will be here from us soon. The <laughs> yes! The yes! 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 That's how we do it, baby. Thank you. Anarchist is coming to WWE. Suck it, Cole. I told you not to ruin this for me, and look what happened. Whoa, all I did was give it everything I had out there, okay? I can't help it that he saw more potential in me. Potential? Or was it your boy Baron here putting you over with him? I always knew that he was your favorite, but I didn't think it would cost me a shot at WWE. This was all Matt Bloom's decision. Do you think I want to see my top guys leave? And do you think we want to stay here forever, wrestling in front of a few hundred people for crap money? That's not what I meant. I'm just saying we're building something good here. Besides, if you left, who would design our title belts? I only make your belts because you pay us so little for wrestling. It's so bad teacher's pet over here has to live in his van. I thought that was a joke. I only live in it when times are tough, which is most of the time. Well, that nickname's not as much fun anymore. Look, you just need to trust the process. We're building a brand. And think of it this way. If any of us make it to WWE, it'll be good for everyone. It'll help put BCW on the map and lead more opportunities. Oh, yeah. Easy for you to say. You're the one with a WWE tryout match. Shut up, Cole. You fucking He's right, douchey though. bitch. What's the saying? A rising boat will lift all tides? I think it's the other way around. Whatever. Come on, let's drop this thing and bring it in for a BCW handshake. Yeah, no thanks. I'll let you two celebrate alone. What a douche. Don't worry about him. And congrats! I am truly happy for you. That's the douchiest hang chick I've ever seen. <laughs> That, that went well. We won. We won the match, and we did pretty fucking good. Next week. This is way bigger than the high school gym, and the VFW, and the state fair, combined. Don't let that bother you. All that matters is the ring's the same size. Are you sure? All right, good point, but I assume their rings aren't covered in rust and mysterious stains. Hey, we're working on fixing that. Come on, let's go meet Triple H and uh, try to play it cool. You don't want to recite his entire career history like you did with Matt Bloom. <laughs> it wasn't his entire career history. Hey, Hunter! It's been a while. This is my guy that Matt Bloom wanted to bring in for the tryout match tonight. Nice to meet you. You trained him, Baron? I did. He's one of my top students. I'll try not to hold that against him. <laughs> Look, I've heard a lot of good things. But I want to see you in action tonight before we decide anything. Do you have an opponent for him yet? I do. Surviving in WWE is all about how you handle adversity. So you're going to face the toughest guy we have. Actually, the toughest monster we have. Oh, fuck, man. Go introduce yourself to Braun. Don't worry. Oh, you. you're putting me against him? I'm a cruiserweight and you're putting me against that motherfucker. Oh, fuck me. Look at him. He's fucking... He's lifting a 
What the fuck? Who does this? He's like the part of the goddamn set. Uh, hey, Bron. Let's get an extra five minutes. Introduce myself. No autographs. I'm not a fan. I'm actually your opponent tonight. Yeah. You mean victim? So how do you want to die tonight? Uh, I'd like to survive tonight, if that's okay with you. What I meant was, in what type of match do you want to get these hands? Oh god, of course he has to get these hands. Oh, oh hell yeah, tables match! Uh, tables match could be cool. The owner of our promotion could never afford tables, so we never really got to use them. I can't believe you thought I was actually going to let you choose the type of match tonight. We're going to do what I want to do, because I'm the monster among men. So it'll be a steel cage match. That way you can't run from me. No, oh, fuck me. Steel cage. Great idea. That was my second choice. Oh, fuck me. God damn it. That was so fucked. <laughs> oh, 7,700. P, you have gained, uh, go to your my player tree, yada, 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 see if you've gained more style points to use. Time to check if there's anything you want to use to purchase, 2,700. 1,150 for loot pack store. Oh, sweet. Uh, 260 for those tokens. Okay, sweet. I'm so fucked. I am so, so, so. Baron Blaze, a retired W superstar, left for no reasons to become a show producer. Rumors suggest W wouldn't let me execute his vision for a new, never before seen match type. Don't forget to check your phone when you're reaching a hub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though Baron left WWE, maintains a working relationship with Triple H. Hit it. Baron Blade, Alexa Bliss, and go to tryout match. But that is where we're going to end it here, you guys. I hope you've enjoyed. I will see you all in the next episode. Stay golden. Peace.